Hi, everyone. All right. Good morning. No more hangovers? There we go. Um, so before the break, we heard about all these amazing companies saving patients' lives uh, all around the world. So uh, are you ready for some B2B SaaS now? <laughs> Let's, uh, let's go. Um, so I want to talk about uh, what, what is really pissing us off and um, why, we, why we raised $25 million to, uh, to solve it. So a um, little bit of background about me. Um, I've been building websites since I was like 12 years old. Um, and then I found my real calling, B2B SaaS. I've been doing that for the last 10 years. Um, I've had like three exits under my belt and um, as you can tell by the way I look, I was always the technical co-founder in these ventures <laughs> and um, so I was always laying awake at night from one like fear that I had um, and I was like, you know, what was going to happen if there was a data breach at one of these companies? Like it was HR tech, it was invoice tech, it was a carbon accounting system. And I figured out what would happen if there was an actual data breach. What would happen is the other co-founders and the investors would pin it all on me. Um, so against my will in the last 10 years, I've, I've become an expert at securing apps. And um, I want to show you what that looks like on the ground a little bit. Um, it kind of looks like this. You get an email on Monday morning from GitHub. Um, it, uh, wait, let me go. There we go. Little animation there. Love it when that happens. Um, so to do the actual security work, you need like a magnifying glass to figure out what you should be doing first. And to figure out what all the numbers mean, you basically need a PhD in computer science. Um, and there's a bunch of like enterprise tools that have existed for the last 10 years that fixed this, but they all cost like $50,000. And the GUIs look like the inside of an F-16 cockpit. Um, so I was like, okay, let's fix this and I can, I can build it, but I'm going to need someone to sell it. And that's where Roland comes in. Hello, I'm the fixer. Uh, and as you can tell, he has the DAF hoodie, I have the sales jacket. And that's my job. Um, we figured out we had a problem, we know how to build it, uh, but how do you bring such a thing to market, right? Uh, especially in cybersecurity, it's such an old market, um, it's not easy to dive in. So there's three things that we wanted to talk about. First is the USPs that we needed to find to be able to get out there. So Aikido is a nine in one, meaning there's nine different ways that we will scan your code, your cloud. Nobody wants to buy nine tools, it's super expensive, uh, nobody wants to manage nine tools. So we bring them together. We go from code to cloud, so from all the way from what a developer does to your uh, customers in production. And when we find things, you want to fix them fast, right? That's the whole point of security. You want to fix those issues. And so we've developed AutoFix uh, so that you can put remediation uh, on autopilot. And above all, the last one in orange, the false positives, it's really like a disease in security land where there's findings, there's alerts, there's notifications, but 90% of it is, a, is not real, uh, and we, we cancel those out. We made it into a uh, easy to use platform. Uh, developers like to use it. You don't need a PhD in computer science uh, to understand what's going on. And uh, that's how we went uh, initially to market. But it's super crowded out there. There's so many cyber uh, players. Uh, also, all the first invent investors we talked to, they said that it could not be done. There's too many players. They will uh, do exactly what you do. You need to be a lot more innovative. Uh, it's not going to happen. Uh, but turns out the ocean, the ocean is very red, but the ocean is also filled with a lot of tired fish. They're tired of swimming. They're tired of f finding vendors. The vendors are tired of finding the fish. Um, and so we created a blue ocean lane right next to that ocean. If you want to enter that market, you also need that positioning and that messaging uh, to do so. And if you think about everything without a no, so if you read CISOs, talk to sales, acronyms, that's exactly what cyber websites look like. Um, they want to talk to CISOs. You have to talk to sales. You will not see pricing. You'll have to go to seven meetings and then you'll get a quote that will just tire you out. It's full of these acronyms that Gartner invented. 
so that you can be on some whatever magic quadrant. Uh, we're none of that. We're for the no bullshit approach. Our focus is developers. That's our audience. It's PLG, meaning it's all about the product. You can try it out for free. Um, there's no uh, credit card required. You don't have to talk to sales. You can just try it out. If you like it, you can go for a paying plan or you can just stay on the free version if you like. We make it human readable and if you find something, you'll be able to fix it. That's our guarantee. So we've talked about the USPs. We've talked about uh, the positioning. But in the ocean, although there's a lot of fish in that red ocean, there's a lot of sharks there as well. So you better have some uh, defensible IP and some tech to really stand your chances. And so it wouldn't be a tech conference without using the word AI. But so we use LLMs. LLMs are really good at languages. They're also really good at coding languages. They're really good at understanding those languages and they're also pretty good at writing those languages. So we've built the LLMs um, so that they can build the fixes for you, making it even more easy to uh, get in your uh, good security posture state. So let the machines do the work. We're on a mission to free the developers because you're a developer because you're building products. You're not a developer to fix security issues. Let's fucking go.